southern Spain, the sun-baked home of sherry and slim, trim fighting bulls. Those are the famous products of the chalkland here just south of that fiesta town that is called Seville. So come with me first to a famous bull ranch to get the thirsty feel of the place. Don't worry, your bullfight bull won't show his fight to any horseman as long as he's in his herd, though he'll sometimes show an inclination to start some sort of a fencing match with his fellow bulls. This is a dazzling country where they call me Ricardo Norton, not Dick Norton. So come with me on Pathy Bick's magic carpet when the best bulls are ready for the ring and the best chalk-fed grapes are ripe for harvesting and making into sherry wine. You've more right to be here than even the Spaniards because seven out of every ten bottles of sherry produced find their way to Britain. And British families tend to outnumber all others in running the famous bodegas, blending these famous wines. The chalk crusts over the earth here, trapping the moisture that will feed 2,000 vines on every acre, so that they will yield nearly three and a half tons of succulent grapes, and in turn, 500 gallons of sherry, salty dry or blended warm and nutty with a bouquet no other region can imitate. That's why they're getting ready, not only for harvest, but for a wine festival and a fiesta, famous as a yearly event throughout the world. Jerez, the town that has given its name, somewhat mispronounced, to Sherry. A town founded by the Phoenicians, taken over by the Greeks, invaded by the Moors, and dedicated through the centuries to the production of the most famous wines that Spanish vineyards have ever pressed. Storks are almost the trademark of this famous bodega. One of the brothers running it has storks at his home in England, imported with the golden wine that comes in the fine coopered casks. It takes a year before you can predict whether a wine will become a fino or a rich sweet sherry. And the first classification comes when the chief taster takes his long-handled Benenthia and scoops wine out of the maturing cask for a discerning sniff. Yes, just a sniff. He grades the young wine by its smell, without at this stage tasting it. But now it's festival time, outside this collegiate church, where the crowds parade for the ceremony of the blessing of the grapes. The vintage festival, with all its colour, has begun. The vintage queen offers grapes for blessing, while others prepare for the ceremonial treading in honor of the patron saint of the sherry vineyards, San Hine de la Jura. With cowhide pressing boots, spiked with iron nails, the wine is trodden in traditional style, still symbolically performed on the first fruits of the big, but now modernized bodega. hundred doves are released and now it's time for fiesta. The fiesta that will last a week and live in memory the whole year through. That horse is the trademark of another famous bodega, often linked with Britain. Breeding and racing and riding and driving horses under British influence has become a speciality in and around Jerez. The Vintage Festival is dedicated yearly to different countries where sherry is part of life. England, Denmark, Holland, Ireland, Norway, Germany, in turn have sent distinguished guests to Jerez, and now it's their Scottish fiesta, though in fact the fun belongs to everyone who can enjoy such a dream. It takes a carnival that is a riot of fun and colour to defeat the hot sun and conquer the siesta tendency that it begets. But no one does much sleeping for a week at fiesta time here in Jerez.
fiesta, but who of us wouldn't feel completely at home here? Some things, like sherry itself, are international. Yes, many things here at the fiesta are international and recognizable as such, but somehow Hereth adds a slant to the proceedings that is exclusively its own. Carnival is carnival in any language, but who can deny that this carnival has been given a touch of the sun that is Spanish through and through? Like it or not, disapprove as you may, no Spanish fiesta is complete without a bullfight. And here at Jerez, they have a rule which decrees that a brave bull will be pardoned and sent to live its life out back at the ranch. So see how this aspect of the festival gets ceremoniously underway. It's part of the bullfight ritual that the matador should search the crowd and dedicate the bull he fights to the prettiest girl he sees in the arena. It's not an easy choice. One famous face, a man who knows some of the subtlest and surprising dance steps and moves you can see at bullfights. Because cruel though it may be, there's artistry in the bullring. The matador has affinity with the ballet dancer, as Orson Welles has been heard to state. There's certainly nothing cruel about the soft fiesta night. Flamencos and castanet dancing, and all you need, like me, is a cooling battery fan. It's a long, long way to the pop groups who've borrowed their guitars from this original setting of the fiesta. And the chances are the fiesta may outlive our beat boys by a century or two. Drink in the gaiety of it all, in any case.